Hi, my name is Jessica Montoya, a Master's of Athletic Training student here at Indiana State, and today I'm going to show you how to perform the slocum drawer test. The first we're going to test for is the anterior lateral rotary instability. So you're going to have the patient supine with their knee bent at 90 degrees. You're going to have them um, internally rotate 25 degrees. And then you're going to have them relax, especially their hamstrings, and pull anteriorly. A positive test would be excessive um, anterior tibial translation, which would be indicative of a lateral capsule uh, LCL or ACL sprain. The second one is testing for anterior medial rotary instability. So you're going to have the patient in the same position except for externally rotating the foot 15 degrees. And then again, you're going to pull anteriorly. A positive sign would be excessive anterior tibial translation, which would be indicative of a anterior medial capsule, a MCL or ACL sprain. And both of these tests, the specificity and sensitivity are inconclusive.